Hey guys, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be checking out some simple suggestions for Universe Sandbox 2. So my first request comes from Connor is Richest, and he wants me to make Pluto twice the mass of the sun. Okay, let's do that. Well, he says twice the diameter, but I'm going to make it twice the mass, so... Yeah, I, I think I have an idea of what's going to happen, but let's go ahead and just do that. Pretty simple solution, so... Just change it to flashlight so we can see the planet nice and brightly. And let's go ahead and change the size. So what we want to do is just set this to suns. Change the value to two. And there you go. You have a black dwarf essentially. The reason why it's a black, or kind of a black dwarf or a black star, is because it's actually super cool. It's actually sitting at negative 229 degrees Celsius. So there you go. That is what happens when you change Pluto into two masses of the sun. You end up with a very, very cold star with a very, very eccentric orbit to the sun. But since it is two masses of the sun, I expect it's going to throw the entire solar system for a loop. Let's go ahead and just fast forward and see what happens. Now this is probably going to lag a little bit because, well, the main thing is we have a... Uh, a lot of these little asteroids and dwarf planets and stuff orbiting around. And there it goes. It is ejecting tons and tons of rocks straight out of our solar system. It has pulled our sun into probably a dual star orbit. And the simulation is lagging up because there's just so many particles going on. But as you can see, Earth has been... E no, that's Neptune, actually. Earth is probably still orbiting around uh, Sol over here. So, let's see. Yeah, I can still see it in there. Um, I can't imagine it's actually heating up Earth, but the orbit for Earth might have been thrown off. But, let's check. Here's Earth right here. No, that's the sun. I almost clicked on Earth. Here's Earth, and it hasn't really had any significant effect, because it's still effectively orbiting around the sun at one astronomical unit. Because it's so close to the sun that it actually maintains an orbit there. What is going on there? Wait a minute. Like a Saturn. <laughs> it has a polar orbit around the, our sun. Very, very close, too. Like, closer than Mercury. That's super interesting that it was actually caught that way. That is awesome. Okay. And where is our lovely Pluto? See it anywhere. That's not Pluto. Uh, I thought that said Quasar. I was very confused. I seem to have misplaced Pluto. Hmm. I don't know where Pluto went. You would think it'd be pretty easy to find. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's hiding, like, in the kind of inner solar system, I guess. Or I guess now it's the Pluto system, since it's the primary star here. And let's just speed up time and just see what happens over the years. Okay, so what, one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clear out a lot of these rocks. Well, hopefully not getting rid of Pluto. Okay, there we go. And now the simulation should go much faster. Yeah, that is much better. Get rid of I'll just let Neptune keep going. Yeah, that's running a lot smoother now. So we have a couple dwarf planets caught around Pluto and Jupiter. Jupiter's actually caught around Pluto as well. Very cool. And here is Sol coming in just diving through and if we turn on orbits instead you can see that the sun is orbiting around Pluto the sun is kind of this pinkish one here and Pluto's this red one and there's Haumea and whatever this is it might be Jupiter it is about to achieve escape velocity 
So if that was Jupiter, it's 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 gonna leave probably. And I don't know where Neptune is. There's Neptune. I don't think it's actually maintaining an orbit. No, it's achieved escape velocity and sleeping the system. It was slingshot out. Actually, is it Jupiter? I'm not sure what this is. Oh no, that's a dwarf planet. No, there's Jupiter. Yeah, Jupiter has achieved escape velocity, and now it's leaving its, the uh, system as well. So it's actually becoming a very, very cold gas giant. But our inner solar system that now has a very, very kind of polar orbit Saturn, which I think is really awesome. I didn't, I didn't expect that outcome. Yeah, that that's that's really cool. I really like that. I think this would make a pretty pretty cool uh, solar system. And since Pluto is so cool, and look at that, it has some kind of polar orbits as well. It's orbiting around without actually heating up all these other planets. So Earth, if it is still sitting at one AU, which let's see, yeah, it's orbiting around one AU. It is perfectly fine. So. Now we have a giant black star called Pluto orbiting around our sun, or vice versa. Depends how you look at it. Anyways, very nice suggestion. I didn't expect this outcome. Uh, I thought everything was just going to be like flung out, but no, we actually ended up with a few cool things like Saturn here. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one. Also, I do plan on... Well, let's let's make this a bonus clip. Can I actually turn up the uh, HUD scale so you guys can see this stuff? Um, graphics. No, I don't think I can actually change the HUD size. Somebody was asking if I could do that to make it a little bit more readable, but I don't really see an option for it. Maybe under input, that'd be controls, um, performance, video. That's like actual video capture. Yeah, unfortunately I don't think I could actually do that. Well, I figured I'd at least check and see if I could. I could run the game at like a 1080p window and let's see if this actually adjusts. There we go, now it's a lot more readable for you guys. And I might make future videos like this if that's better for you guys. Because now you guys can like see all the details on the right hand side of all this. If you're watching in 1080p, see you guys.